back to Wolf Quest. And we are here with our Beaver Creek pack. Is there anything attacking us? I don't know that there is or not. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, we're going to be kind of careful about it. I think... Um, I think we probably want to try to do some territory marking. Seems like things are okay at the moment. We're going to have to take a lot of it from Prospect Peak, which I'm not sure Cricket is too keen on. But, uh, yeah, I think we're all right. We're going to leave the pups hidden for now. Willow's down to 50% health. So I think Cricket would want to hurry off, maybe find some food, maybe go hunt a beaver on this side. And what's the wind direction? It's blowing this way, so we want to circle around from below. Uh, but I think she might want to do a quick beaver hunt and then go ahead and... Uh, Go mark some territory, make sure that we get that done, because otherwise, like, we don't want to be away from Willow for too long, otherwise she could keep getting sicker and potentially even die if we're not, if we're not careful. Even if we are, it, it's not out of the question, but we definitely want to avoid that if we at all possibly can. All right, um, well, it doesn't look like there's actually any beavers on this trail right now, so we're going to just go straight into marking territory then and uh, see how quickly we can get that done and maybe find food on the way back. Oh, is that beaver? There, There is beaver trail here. There is one up there as well, which I think might be in use actually. Oh, yep. Yes, it is. We gotta be cautious. But I think we might be able to surprise this one maybe. We can crouch, ready ourselves. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's run right in. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. We're able to, to stalk it for just a little bit there. Oh, gotta break free. As long as Solstice helps us this time, we should be good. He's mostly the one who needs food, and I do want to make sure that we get to hunt for his sake. And and he's very distracted again. I think he must be worried about Willow or something, because uh, he's normally a great beaver hunter, but sometimes he's just, like, it just seems like his head is not in the game today. Uh, he's having a tough time with it. We still got it, we still finished it off, so let's let him eat it. There we go, he is hungry, so we'll make sure he gets to finish it if he wants it. Cricket can go without food if she needs to. She's at about 100%, we'd just be adding more to the food for pups, which wouldn't be bad. They are getting a little bit hungry, but she's not like in dire need of health or anything, so I think she'll be fine. Uh, but our, our den, you can actually see the pups are right there, right over the hill. Uh, so let's pop over and join him. It's a very, uh, very dark and stormy night, that's for sure. Can we, out of curiosity, out of curiosity, if Solstice helps, maybe, uh, we definitely did not, um, did not get the actual damage bonus there, so it's gonna be a little bit of a tougher one, but it does have a little ways to run before it can get to the water, so maybe, we'll see, um, if we're able to get it, because I think it has to run all the way down to the stream, so we might actually be okay, we'll let Solstice get a good bite on it, we'll try to get a good bite on it, oh, we're actually alright, okay, uh, well, we will let Cricket eat then, and we'll bring the rest back and let that be our food for pups. Um, because Solstice is full, it's just Cricket who needs a little bit of extra food, and the rest of this will be perfect for the puppies, so let's bring that back to them. Here we go, let's let the puppies eat. So we got most of the uh, territory marked. We ended up not marking this section here. Well, I guess we've got quite a bit left to mark as well, but we marked most of the inner area. Uh, but the affinity started dropping, and Cricket, I think, was worried about Willow, so she ended up just coming back and uh, opting to wait. As you can see, the affinity was about halfway down from where it can get to before the pups can start to leave. So overall, I think it was I think it was pretty decent, um, pretty pretty decent little excursion, but definitely good to come back, rest, spend some time with the pups. And hopefully Willow will recover soon. She's down to... how much is she at? We'll check her health in a second. Uh, she's down to 52, which is not great. Um, she can probably make it another day and a half, I think. Especially if we spend some of that time with her here. But... It's definitely a big concern. Now the pups are all pretty full, and I noticed Beaver is at... Uh, 16.2. We probably should have woofed them back in the grass first. I forget we can do that without repercussion here in the rendezvous site. Oh, that solstice over there. But hopefully... I'm listening for that recovery sound, but I'm not hearing it. So that's a little bit of a worry here. Let's woof them back in the grass, because I have a feeling something's going to show up here. 
Oh, maybe not. Maybe we're all right. Is our territory decaying weirdly? No, it's actually not. Okay. Well, that's a surprise. Usually that's, um, you, usually, usually bad things happen in the morning, but so far so good. Willow is down to 44% health, but I think we got to go try to finish off marking some of that territory over here. Uh, especially because it's Prospect Peak, I think Cricket's feeling a little antsy. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and we'll check in with these guys a bit later. Oh, there's a beaver here that we just stumbled on. Well, it would be a shame to not go for it. Uh, if we are if we get a good bite, we might still be able to do it. It's it's Oh, it's going towards the water, though, so maybe not. Solstice is helping us this time, though, or he was at least. So maybe, uh, maybe with his assistance we'll be able to do it. We'll see. We're, we didn't get the damage bonus, so maybe not. I'm going to fall back for a second and regain some stamina. It's going to be close, that's for sure. Oh, it might just get away. No! Ah, uh, man. Yeah, it really helps to get that damage boost, but unfortunately this time we did not. Did we? Oh, we didn't actually end up marking this one yesterday, did we? Is this, is that what happened? Did we mark in the wrong territory? No, it is. I was a little concerned because this one is, it was looking, I, I did notice this one is looking weak again and I did mark this post last night. So it should have been up to a hundred. So that made me worry and feel like I needed to come investigate because, hmm, was somebody trying to claim this? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but in any case, we're going to kind of just try to do this loop here today if we can. And hopefully we're able to get most of it done. But I think Cricket is feeling very on, uh, on edge, ill at ease, and divided because uh, she doesn't want to leave Willow for very long. But she's also very concerned about how the territory is... Um, is going right now uh and stranger wolves are a big concern of hers because you know she had a, an attack that was almost very bad when she was a pup so it's definitely something that's well in her mind right now oh this is prospect peak in our territory i bet they did try and claim over part of that We've got to make sure that this uh, this lowest one here, oh, they're headed back into their territory, which we're actually going to take this one over, um, or try to, I think. Honestly, Cricket's going to just try, because it's not that well claimed, I don't think. We're going to try to just howl it and see if we can do that. And we do have to be careful, though, because I am noticing, once again, the affinity is going to be a problem and not too much longer. Oh, well, well that was... Um, that was not a lengthy, lengthy issue. Um, well, I guess we claim this then without too much hassle. We had just about finished howling it down. We didn't actually run to mark the other one. Sometimes it's faster not to if, you do, if, it's, if it's low and you don't want to run across the territory. But uh, yeah, I guess that worked out. Uh, I think we'll try and mark this one too. And then we'll try and cross back over and... Um, and mark a few of the other ones on our way up so that oh i guess that boosted some affinity too you, you can do that a little bit with your mate uh you just can't boost it all the way so i guess we got i guess we got whatever affinity we were down with solstice back up so that gives us a little bit more time too uh oh oh that was the same wolf we chased off earlier i think <laughs> possibly prospect peak is uh amazingly afraid of cricket and i think that's giving her a little bit of confidence perhaps but we are starting to push our luck a little bit we've got one more hex to mark after this and uh we do need to get back to, and we should turn off the fur on besides we don't need to see those we do need to get back to the pups so i think we're gonna try and mark this really quickly because i think cricket wants to get it done get these reinforced so that she doesn't feel like prospect peak is going to be coming in but uh, we definitely need to get back sooner rather than later because uh, the pack affinity is not staying up. It, uh, it definitely is dropping. So hopefully this one's pretty nearby and not all the way across the territory. Oh, we've just about made it back. And uh, we do need to bring back food because uh, the pups are a little hungry. Solstice is a little hungry. So I think let's actually let, well, let's, let's, let's bring this back for the pups. Because I think they're the ones who really need food. We can we can hunt something bigger with Solstice, but we need to get back like just before the uh, affinity runs out here. Uh, but we do want to make sure the pups get their food and uh, continue to grow. 
So we definitely want to bring this back for them. I think that's going to be more important. Solstice is at like 86, I think, or something like that. So, whew, just in the nick of time. We are just, just barely made it back. Let's let them eat. Let's play with them a little bit. And uh, then I think we're probably going to go ahead and wrap up because it is getting to be about that time again. So we want to make sure that we do that. Let's howl a little bit as well. Keep an eye out for danger. We didn't have anything show up earlier, so I'm a little bit skeptical of this. Uh, and unfortunately, Willow has not recovered, which is not great. Uh, what is her health at right now? 38. It's not going down quickly, but it's definitely still going down. Uh, she has not recovered from her illness, and even though it doesn't seem to be an especially bad one yet, I think it's definitely got Cricket worried, especially Cricket in particular. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can... <laughs> oh, can you hear? Hello, Evelyn! Hello, Evelyn! It is, it is time for Evelyn's dinner after this episode, and she is here to let me know. Hi, Ev! Is it time for you to eat? I don't know if you can all, all can hear her or not, but she's standing outside my door meowing at me. So it is it is time for her to eat as well. Hi! I know! <laughs> she will get her food right after this. Beaver! Beaver! She will get her food after this. Do not worry. Um, but I think we'll go ahead. We will woof these guys in the grass because they do be uh, about full on their own food. Just make sure nothing's going to pop out of the woodwork at us. And then let's make sure Solstice gets to finish the rest of this meal, dear Fawn, because he do be a bit hungry. So then we'll go ahead and end this off. Solstice, come here. Solstice. 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 Solstice, there we go. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Is, are you gonna eat? You can eat, you can eat that. Solstice. There we go. I know, Evelyn. <laughs> She's sitting outside my door staring in at me. She knows it is time for food. And like, to the dot, to like almost to the minute. <laughs> uh, she she's definitely she definitely does know her schedule. But we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here for today so that I can go feed Evelyn. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, until next time, this is Jay, over and out.